guys, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode after class, Mark's Path. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of my entertaining. Let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you're up and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Both of you walked into the grocery with damp clothes. You soon realized that wasn't a good idea at all. Oh, God, it's really cold in here. Oh. Heh, <laughs> my bad. I forget they have air conditioning here. You're evil! It was his plan to bring you inside all along. He knew it'd be colder in here. Let's just get what we want and get out of here. All right. You're getting food, right? Let's head into the food aisle. Yeah, nothing fancy, though. Just bread. Just bread? Just bread. Okay, sure. Bread aisle it is. You went with Mark to get to the bread aisle. There was a lot of bread, but you planned to get what you usually get. You sure you really? You sure you only need bread? Yep, I don't really eat that much for breakfast anyway. Still, though, eating only bread is kind of boring. Not to mention the lack of essential nutrients for your body. I have peanut butter, too. Huh, <laughs> not a fan of peanut butter. Me neither. I dislike it, but I still eat it. <laughs> Don't even try to feed me peanut butter. I won't. Good. Mark played on his phone as he looked around for the bread he wanted. Hey, Mark, didn't you say you have something to do here? Hmm? Yeah, I do, but I'm gonna wait till you're finished looking for your bread. Oh, okay, give me a minute. Take your time. Alright, I'm done here. You planned to get only the usual kind, but what you were holding said otherwise. Bread roll, breadstick, white bread. You sure like your bread? Eh, the bread roll and breadstick aren't for breakfast. I plan to eat them later. I'm really questioning your diet right now, bread boy. Bread boy? I'm just hungry, okay? Why didn't you say so? You didn't get a chance to say it. Well, put those away. Huh? Why? Well, how about my breakfast? We're gonna get something to eat first. We'll come back later. It's fine, I'm not that hungry. Your stomach growled after you said that. Well, shit, I insist. Come on, or I'll be mad. Ah! He put the bread back to the shelf. Goodbye, my loves. Without letting you say goodbye to your bread properly, Mark drags you to the food court. I said it's fine, though. Tell that to your stomach, and that's the reason I came here anyway. Huh, I thought we are going to eat outside. It's raining outside, Henry. No, I mean, I'm a little taken aback by the size of this place. From the outside, it didn't look that big. Well, this is the main grocery in Highwell. I mean, there are smaller ones here and there, there near my place, but none of these are as convenient as Publix. Huh, I guess that's true. This place must be bigger than I thought. Yep, this place is big. I heard the food here uses fresh produce from this grocery. That's nice. So, order me a nasakuduk from the Indonesian food corner over there. I'll find a place for us to sit. Nasakuduk? What is that? Uh, um... <laughs> It's a steamed rice cooked in coconut milk dish originally in originally from Jakarta. It literally means mixed rice in Batawi dialect. I see. I'm surprised you knew something like that. <coughs> Wikipedia. Here's the money. Get something for yourself, too. My treat. He gave you the money and then walked into the crowd. But what about your drink? I guess I'll just order whatever's available. You headed to the Indonesian food corner. An attendant greeted you with a smile. Selamatating de Padok Asia. How can I help you? When he spoke, you didn't understand half of it. The sentences were too foreign for you to respond properly. Uh, yes. Ah, it's your first time buying food here, isn't it? Yes, uh, please go easy on me. <laughs> it's the same like any other restaurant. Just say hi and say your order. I see, but what does that mean? That sentence you said earlier, I mean. It basically means, welcome to, Pan welcome to Pandok Asia. Nothing too complicated. Okay, now I feel dumb. Don't be. He looked at the menu, and nothing made sense until you saw English next to the Indonesian names. Can I have two nasi uduk, please? Oh, hey, not too bad for a first-timer. You sure this is the first time ordering here? Yes, I heard my friend pronounce it earlier, that's all. <sighs> well, two nasi uduk. Anything else? Uh, give me a moment, I'm looking at the drinks. Take your time. Oh god, everything is so foreign. Where's Mark when I need him? The intendant noticed that you were having a hard time deciding what to drink. Since you're new here, may I suggest something? If you're eating nasi uduk, you might not want to drink something with a lot of coconut milk. Like mung, like mung bing drink, for example. Why is that? Nasi uduk contains a lot of coconut milk, so does so does mung, di, mung bing drink. It's not good for your bowels. I see. Mark did mention about coconut milk. Since I can't have that much of coconut milk, I shouldn't order the, bean, the, the mung bing drink. Not to mention the price. I should order the cheapest drink, since he's treating me food. I'll have one iced tea and one iced lemonade. One iced lemon tea.
Two Nasi Uduk, one iced tea, and iced lemon tea. Here's the receipt. You can pay near the cashier over there. All right. Tiramikasi, please come again. Uh, thank you. Ah, uh, oh, you're welcome. He smiled and then went back, went to, the, went to the back, toward the door which led to the kitchen. With the receipt in your hand, you walked over to the cashier and paid for the food you bought at Pondok Asia or whatever it was. He gave you another receipt with a change in a wooden plate with number 16 carved on it. This is kind of different from back home. What am I supposed to do with this? Mark was sitting at a table near the wall. He saw you and gave you a gesture to go to, go to him. Um, they gave me another recipe in a wooden plate with number 16 on it. And? What's next? He grabbed the receipt and the wooden plate. You just put the wooden plate on the table. The waiter will come with our food. Interesting. This is a little bit different from from home. I see. So you're new to Highwell, yes? Yeah. How does it compare to your old town? Uh, different, but not in a bad way. The weather is nice. It's not that crowded, and everyone is friendly at school. I bet that's because of your cute face. What? That's not true. You, can't deny, you can deny it all you want, but I think you have a cute face. Ah. Look at you. Getting flustered over a compliment. It's just too sudden, that's all. Anyway, speaking of Highwell, are you from here? Hmm, I was born here. Then I moved somewhere else and lived for five years with my grandma. Everything was going well until... He paused for a bit. I came back to this town because my dad asked me to come. I was six back then. Anyway, it's not important. You can say that I'm very familiar with this town. All right. Well, how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, you're younger than me. I'm surprised you didn't know. Hey, we just met the other day, okay? Hey, we just met, we just met for a day, okay? And you don't look any younger than me. That's just rude. I'm joking! What did you get for the food? I got... Never mind that. I can just take a look at the receipt. The same, huh? Yeah, I don't know anything about Indonesian food, so I just ordered the same thing. Well, you won't be disappointed. How can you be so sure? Because I said so. Okay. Why is it taking so long? Oh, come on, Mark. It's only been five minutes. There's no way they can make it that fast. He looks at you, surprised. Is there something on my face? I didn't know you had common sense. Excuse me, what? Nothing, nothing. Fine, I'll remember that. Yeah, make sure you do. Mark grabbed his phone and started playing with it. Hey, look at this. They posted a new trailer. He got up and moved to an empty spot in an empty seat next to you. When he moved to show you his phone, there was a game trailer playing. He looked very excited about it. The trailer itself was new to you, but for some reason the characters weren't. You wondered why. This, is, this looks interesting. What game is this? This one is called Queendom Hearts 3. It's from the Queendom Hearts series. Queendom Hearts? It sounds familiar. What is it about? It's about a 14-year-old boy named Sky. So in the first game, he's separated from his friends with their world. Fate Islands is invaded by creatures known as the Nohard. During the invasion, he obtains a weapon called the Key Edge that allows him to fight the Nohard. After obtaining the Key Edge, he is uh, teleported to another world, Transit Town, where he meets these two guys over here. He explains the game with gusto. Continuing from the last, from the latest game, Sky and his two friends attempt to search for seven guardians of the sky and something called the Key to Free Hearts. While King Mike and La Kill King Mike and Lance search for the previous Key Edge, Key, Key Edge Wilders. Previous Key Edge Wilders? Those three I explained earlier, water, wind, and earth. Ah, okay. So by the start of the third main game, you can see that Sky has completed his mastery mark, which he was attempted to do at the end of the previous game. This one is in the trailer will be the final chapter of the Dark Finder Z Heart Saga. I think that's all about I think that's all about this game. Oh, is that all about the super confusing timeline of those games? Whoa, you know a lot about this game. I'm a big fan! I see, that's good to know. So, what's your opinion about this game series? What just happened? I think it's awesome. I don't see a lot of commercially successful crossover games. Right? I'm glad they decided to make this game. Yeah, I love how they connect the storyline. It sounds complicated, but the way you explained it makes it easier to understand. Really? I'm glad, then. I can show you the game if you want. You have the game? Yeah, all the main games and spin-offs. Wow. Uh, then I can play, too? Yeah, sure, if you want to. Yes, please, that would be great. Great, I'll let you know when I'm free. Ah, about time they gave us our food. Mark moved to his seat, and when he noticed the attendant was walking towards you with your order. Hey there, sorry for the wait. We had a bit of a trouble in the kitchen. Ha, <laughs> it's okay. Well then, two Nazi one iced tea, and one iced lemon tea. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. He put all of your, he put all of your order on the table. The food looked delicious, and it smelled good, too. Ah, the food is here. Let's dig in. <laughs> yeah, don't mind if I do. You took a bite out of it, and your taste buds got a very pleasant surprise. Ooh, the rice tastes so good. Yeah, they cooked it in coconut milk. That's why it tastes great. You should try the chicken. It's even better. He listened to Mark's advice and took a small bite of the chicken. Oh, wow. It's great, right? It's not like any other chicken I've tasted before. That's Indonesian food for you. 
I think Indonesian food is my new favorite food. Ha! That's great! It's my new favorite food, too! You and Mark finished the food. Ah, I'm stuffed. Thanks for the food. It was good. Yeah, it really was. Let's head back downstairs and get your bread before we go home. Yeah, I think the rain's letting up, too. You left the food court with Mark and headed back to get bread. You walk toward the entrance with Mark and pay for your bread. Then you notice someone familiar standing behind the counter. Oh, who's this? Anders, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't know you work here. Oh, uh, just started today. Ha, huh, no wonder I've never seen you here till now. Hmm. Things suddenly went quiet. You had to say something. Ah, uh, actually, I want to pay now. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. No, I don't apologize. Man, I feel really bad for him. You quickly scanned your items. After he was done, the small screen in front of you showed how much he needed to pay. You grabbed your wallet, but Mark had already paid in your stead. Hey, what are you doing? Paying? Paying? I know, but it's my stuff. Well, I'm paying for you. But why? Think of it as a thank you for eating out with me today, yeah? You also treated me to lunch. So? At this point, you realize that there was no whining, if you, no winning if you argued with him. Mm, thank you. Don't mention it. Um, thank you for shopping with us. See you tomorrow, Anders. Hmm. It stopped raining, finally. Ah, we can go home now. Yay! Yep. Well, I'm going now. Thank you for coming here with me, Mark. No problem. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me. It was fun. Anytime. Don't forget to store your bread properly. He waved his hand and started walking to the other side of the road while playing with his phone. Without him around, he decided to go home. Ah, it's kind of cold here. It's kind of cold because the rain only just stopped. You folded your arms to keep yourself warm as you kept wa as you kept walking until you reached home. Now, I just need to unlock this door. After locking the door, you entered your home. Ah, finally. You remember what Mark said to you earlier. Don't forget to store your bread properly. But the question was, how to store your bread properly? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the fridge? Yeah, that must be it. Somehow convincing yourself that putting it in the fridge was a good idea, you decided to do it. After that, I'll shower and go to sleep. Might as well do laundry. And maybe unpack my stuff. Or not. Huh, what a long day. Mark was still standing near the grocery store with your pencil case in his hand. He just said, he said we just met for a day. You put your pencil case into his bag and then walked to the alley. It's fine, I guess. Time to go back to that hell house. Day three. Nice. Ay, 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 ay. Ah. Chicken nuggets. Huh? Oh. Ugh. He picked up the phone to see whose call you just missed. Unknown oh, number. Should I call the number back? Stranger danger call. What if it was someone I know? I should try to call the number. Beep. Number's busy. Oh well, let's head to the shower. As you got up from the bed and started hobbling out of your bedroom, you briefly looked back to your phone sitting on the nightstand. But what if they call but what if they call me back while I'm in the shower? I'll take my phone with me just in case. While grabbing the phone that was sitting in the nightstand, you happened to see a police officer bending over to help your neighbor with whatever it was. Instead of focusing on what he was doing, you focus on how sexy when he bent how sexy he was when he bent over. Ah, not a good time to think about it. Without giving it more thought, you headed into the bathroom. Even though it's water resistant, I should put it on the vanity. The ringtone should be enough to get my attention anyway. It was certainly enough to tear me away from those tender nuggies. Yeah, but I'm not bitter. Whatever. You walked into the shower as you compared how you woke up this morning with the previous morning. Nothing seemed particularly different. The weather was bright and sunny like usual. The only thing that bothered you was the anxiety of being in a new town. New faces, new places, no one to talk to. Well, it's not like you talked to a lot of people back then anyway. Great. I just turned on the shower. Nope. Oh, what was that? With my clothes on. You turned the shower off for after a few seconds, wondering if maybe you should stay home today. At this rate, you felt like you felt likely you might walk into a phone pole while thinking about what flavors of sauces Bublix offers for their chicken nuggets. It was then that you heard your phone start ringing again. Not the best way to start my day, although I most definitely had worse. Not even bothering with your drenched clothes, you let the bathroom tile get slick with bath water as you answered the phone. It's Mark. Good morning. Oh, you just uh, I got out of the shower. Oh, like a cold shower? Is that what your breath or is that what your teeth are chattering? Yeah, I didn't take you for a cold shower type. Accidents happen. The call was silent for a good five seconds. I'll just call you back later. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Just waking up. Give me like five minutes. But it's kind of chilly out here. Mind letting me in? You hung up the phone. You weren't sure what posi possessed you to do so, but you found yourself walking straight out the front door and opening it. 
The face, the face with which Mark greeted you was to be expected. Uh, you're not a morning person, are you? Good morning, Mark. Morning. Both of you stood there, not saying a word. He felt especially awkward considering it was Mark. He had the feeling he'd be laughing at you or something. But he just looks so... He's gonna stand there or are you gonna go, go back in and change clothes? Dude, you need to get grumpy with me. I have bad mornings too. Sorry, I'm just freezing right now. You don't say. Go get cleaned up. I have plans for the two of us. Plans? This early? Why else would I be here? You'll see. Don't keep me waiting. Well, keep me waiting, he says with a smirk. No compassion for little Henry. Hmm. You went to the bathroom and made, and made to toss out your wet clothes into the hamper. He then started adjusting the knobs for a proper shower. Ta! Ah, so sleepy! What time even is it? He went over to the vanity and checked your phone. The time read around 5.35 a.m. Seriously? No wonder I've been so disoriented. That lion, I swear. With him, I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not sure if he'd bug me this early just because. I've spent my day with him yesterday and I felt like I know a lot about him already. Hopefully he's here with good reason. <gasps> Could it be chicken nuggets? Feeling more invigorated by feeling more invigorated by your own thought and warm shower, you decided to go all in with the day's chaotic morning and shook yourself all over even though you didn't like that. What a mad lad! That'll do. If you wanted a freshly showered Henry, then he should have called me later in the day. You dried yourself off with a towel and wrapped yourself, feeling a little giddy for this even for this even for this even little littler act of defiance. Although it was more an act of defiance against yourself than anyone. Now to get changed. You quickly found a set of clothing that agreed with you and got changed. Hmm? That was fast. You didn't use soap or anything, did you? Oh please, even without soap, I'm spotless. Plus, that'll do, considering it's not even six in the morning. Yeah, it's on me. Can't be helped. We're getting donuts after all. Donuts, huh? Maybe we can get some nuggets later. I blame that dream I had this morning. Why donuts so early in the morning? Good lord. Uh, I'd have loved to pick up, pick some up right before class. Mark just stared at you with a piercing look of exasperation. Don't tell me, you've never had actually fresh donuts before? Huh? No. What? The best donuts are made around the crack of dawn. Rows of tasty round rings right before the ge right before the geezers wake up and start chatting with the clerks. Eh, ignoring the geezer things, uh, I don't see how that's different from when they make another batch later in the day. Ha, huh, just come with me, I'll show you. My treat for getting on your bad side. Okay. Whatever floats your boat, I'm down. Ha, gotta swim my boat right now, so let's go. I assume you know the place, the place, the best place to get them then. Damn straight I do. Do you just wait. You'll have to wash your face again from all the glazed goodness. <laughs> oh, I can think of another reason he'll have to wash his face from glazed goodness. You took a peek at the line of rosy sunrise coloring the dark blue sky from beyond the rows of housing. Bad starts aside, you couldn't remember the last time you saw a sunrise and actually had time to enjoy it. It's like another clear and sunny morning. Forget how pretty everything looks at first. At first light. Ha, <laughs> cute. You hoped you only felt like you were... You hoped you only felt like you were blushing. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Looks like they're getting donuts in the next episode. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.